Hi guys. Here in Russia we should bench rest in three different classes. The first class is the lightest one. Well, if not to take into account uh, 4.5 millimeter, 177 caliber, I mean. So the first class is uh, that is allowed to shoot with uh, GSB 18 grain pellets. The second class is the same as you shoot in the United States or I think all over the world to 100 yards distance. So all mass product pellets up to 35 caliber. And the third class is a slag class uh, that we shoot to 150 yards distance on the same target as we use on 100 yards distance. So, as many of you may know, I shoot international class with GSB Monster Redesigns with my FX Crown. And uh, this year I will obviously shoot slugs with my new FX Panthera because it shows just perfect results and perfect stability that I've never seen before. So. It's a perfect slug shooter and I will shoot Ben Trash with it. And uh, there was a question, what could I do with this very impact M3? Because previous years I shot uh, the lightest class with 18 grains USB with my FX crown also. But this year, to tell you the truth, I don't want to change the settings every time, match after match. And I decided to build this very FX impact M3 to shoot. 18 grain GSBs pellets. So it is FX Impact M3 with STX Superior Barrel 700 millimeter. And you know, I decided to upgrade it in a full possible way, so to say. So I've got upper rail with a 30 MOA angle from Air Marksman. I've got 700 millimeter cubic centimeters uh, air tank. I've got all Sabre technical stuff, so it is a regulated uh, back piece, cheek riser, back rider. And I want to tell a few words about this Air Marksman Anvil. You know, this is a perfect product. It makes this gun real solid. And uh, new to air guns and uh, Air Marksman guys, they say that it is perfect for PRS shooting. Wait! Not only. As you can see, this anvil is perfect for bench rest rest that is used to shoot classic bench rest 25 meters one. It is just perfect. It sits perfect there and it allows me to shoot without any thinking about gun holding and trigger work and so on and so on. So I think that is another purpose to buy this anvil and to use it for bench rest. It's really good. Unfortunately, I don't have any adapter to use a weaver style here because uh, all my F-class bipods are used to mount on uh, weaver style, and here's Picatinny only. But that's not a trouble. That's not a problem for me because I have this rest and I will use it. So let's see what I did. Uh, the speed is about. 290 meters per second. Unfortunately, my battery is in my FX chronograph is down, so I'm not sure about the speed. I think it's about 290 meters per second. And I've made some rapid shooting, uh, 25 shots, and then I made some thoughtful shooting, I would say, but it's hard to say that it is thoughtful because there's no wind flags here and it is windy today. So great thanks to everyone who helped me. So it's Yuta Air Guns and Air Marksman with all this stuff, Saber Tactical with all their stuff, Element Optics with this cool Element Optics Titan, crystal clear picture, excellent magnification, uh, cool mechanisms all of all corrections we need. So top setup, I would say, and I hope that it'll allow me to get top results. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's see how I shot. Bye.